Okay, so today I thought we're gonna do some simple cases here at the hospital. But today I just thought, why don't I show you guys how to work in Central? So, you know, there's so many different avenues a tech can go once they graduate school. It takes off. Tech can go once they, once they graduate school. Um, I, as some of you may know, you can go to tech school and continue on to CSPD school, which is not that long, but I think it's a couple of months, and become a central tech, which is basically the techs who put the trays together um, for instruments and sterilize them. And I'm just gonna show you how all that works because at some hospitals, not everybody has a central department that, um, not everybody has a central department that does just that. Like here at our hospital, we have a central department and a lot of the techs do the central work. Especially when we're on call, we have to sterilize their certain instruments if we need them or we think we may need them for emergency cases. We wash our own instruments here. So I'm just gonna go through some of the processes of sterilizing some of the instruments and what we do here in Central. Things first, we're gonna head over and get some dart tests. These are the tests we put in the sterilizers um, first thing in the morning to make sure they're working properly and I'll show you what they look like once it comes out. Okay, so here we have um, one of the first pages inside of the dart test. You're going to be having two pages. This one it has a bar and a circle. They should be black, both of them. The second page is going to be what I pull out next and it's going to be asking for your initials, sterilized number, and load number. If either one of these pages come out brown, you're best doing the test again or getting a sterilizer check. Okay, so now to begin our day, I'm gonna take out whatever was left in this washer from the night before, and then I will be separating the instruments by which should be used first. So as I'm taking them out, I'm seeing what instruments we're gonna need for the morning, and this is the first tray we're most likely gonna need. Um, just setting up my station, pulling out the instruments from... Okay, so as I take the instruments out of the tray, I am inspecting them for any blood or dry tissue that may have been left on them if they weren't cleaned properly. If there was anything left on, I would clean them again. And as I'm taking them out, I'm also separating them by the type of instrument that they are, just so it makes it easier to put them together on the stringer. Now that all the instruments are out of the tray, I'm going to be setting up the tray with its liner on the inside and prepping it for sterilization. That way, I'll just put the instruments in from here. Here's our binder. Um, I'm going to look on the side tabs. This is a lap coli tray. So we go here to lap coli. Flip it on over. I just rip it out. Here's the list, and I'm just gonna follow this going down the line. Here I am just putting all the instruments on the stringer as they are on the pick sheet. is two atraumatic graspers. Atraumatic graspers are graspers without teeth. Mix these and I set them in my tray nicely. I never want my tray messy, especially as a tech, I know how annoying it is when your tray is messy. It makes it easier when your tray is organized. Have a traumatic grasper and then we have to put together the rest of the instruments. So here is the Maryland. You see, when we wash these instruments, we have to take them apart to make sure everything is washed properly. If you don't take them apart, you may have left 
blood and tissue in the instrument itself, and then for the next patient, it's going to cause infections like that. So in order to prevent infections, we take them apart. Now this piece goes here. And then, this piece, we have the sheet from the outside. And then we have the top piece. There you go, there's your myelin. You just test it to make sure it works. It's not popping out of place. And there you go. Let's do the next one, which is, so then we have the stone grasper here. As I go down the list, I'm also filling it out to make sure everything's in the tray. I'm not forgetting anything out of it. That includes forceps as well. Now, before I close the tray up, I make sure to grab sterile indicators. Now, before they are processed, they're blue. Once they are processed and sterile, they're going to turn black. I put one through the stringer with the instruments. You can see the ends, and I'll show you in a bit. And then I put one inside the bag with the forceps. I am just double checking the pick sheet again, adding my initials and the date I completed it. I'm gonna write a little note that it's complete. On the side here, you'll also see there's a place for comments and the account for the scrub and the nurse that's in the room. So you see, I put this here. You can see it on both ends. Count sheets on top. Instruments there. And here's the end setup of that tray. Make it nice and organized. Okay, so here is the top of those, alumin those sterile trays. Um, I'm going to remove these two filters and add the new filters. The filters should have like an indicating dot on them to let you know what's been processed. I'm gonna add them to both the bottom and the top of the tray here. And as like you can see, the arrow is white. Once this is processed, it's gonna turn black and I'll show you. And that's just a way to check the sterility of the container on the outside. And you know, of course you double check it on the inside with the chemical strips. On this little paper, I'm gonna put the date, a sticker for the load number, and I'll show you all that. Now I'm just adjusting the sticker gun to have the load number, the sterilizer number, and the date that this was sterilized. And then print out a sticker and add it to the data card. So not only do we have trays for sterilization, but we tend to wrap some instruments that need to be sterilized and not just put them in um, sterile packs, but here I'm wrapping an instrument tray that doesn't have an outer tray. And we just make sure that it's tight and nice and neat. Now I am adding the chemical indicating tape. This tape has white lines on it when it's not sterile, and when they're sterile, the lines will turn black. I am adding the name of the tray, who assembled it, and the date it was ran. This here is a non-sterile tray, has not been ran to the sterilizer, and this is a sterile tray that has been ran to the sterilizer.